Hey everyone, John Hancock with another Walnut Ridge Walk Through Wednesday. Today, we're gonna to take a really keen look at the Puma 31 QBBH. Now, people often ask me, what do the letters stand for in the model of the coach? So QBBH, quad bunk, bunches of happiness. No, I'm kidding, it's bunk house. QBBH, quad bunk, bunk house. 31 foot box, it's right in that neighborhood right there, so that kind of gives you an indicator of those numbers. People ask me an awful lot, so I thought I'd fill that in. Right now on this Cougar, I just want to show you, it's got a huge pass-through storage on this thing. If you're gonna have bunkhouse, you gotta have a lot of pass-through storage. There you go, plenty of it. We have a power tongue jack, dual propane cylinders, and remember with Walnut Ridge, the battery is always included. The propane always included, not a bunch of Silly charges that we're gonna tack on at the end. No surprises, we like transparency. All right, let's go on around here. Here we have the front entrance, goes straight into the master bedroom. Why is that important? Well, sometimes when you get the kids buttoned down and you wanna run in and out of the camper yourselves, maybe you gotta get something out of the fridge or out of the wine rack. Well, you have your own access to go back out to the fire after everybody's down and asleep and you're not gonna be disturbing them. Outside, TV hookup right here. So if you're watching the game, the race, the whatever, you've got that access right here. All underneath the awning, which is power, which is lighted, and you've got that as well. Outdoor speakers. Coming on around, you can see this Puma is absolutely beautiful. Here's your second entrance going into the main cabin. Big grab handle, upgraded steps. Those are actually, the feet on those are telescopic and individual, so if you're under uneven terrain, you can actually adjust for that. 31 QBBH right there. This has the sealed underbelly and extra insulation for cold weather camping, outside shower, black tank flush, bigger refrigerator out here. And here's one of the things that's unique to Puma, an actual microwave in the outside kitchen. Really one of the few that actually do that. And that's huge, because you're gonna like that an awful lot. This is also a real sink. It's not a tosser sink, but it actually drains into your gray water. So you've got that right there as well. And then look at this griddle. I don't know about you, I'm picturing pancakes, bacon, eggs, you name it. You can do it all right there. And I actually like that better than the two burners for the most part. And so do a lot of other people. Coming back around, we have a rear ladder. Do we know what a rear ladder means? Walkable roof. First clue. Look for the ladder, you've got a walkable, serviceable, serviceable roof, and you'll appreciate that an awful lot. Also, with the Puma, you're gonna get a spare. Everybody should have a spare, right? Four inch by four inch rear bumper for your uh, hoses that you don't wanna have in other parts of the, we'll leave it at that. Anyway, um, that's the outside look at the 31 QBB8, so if you'll come with me, let's take a look at the inside. All right, here we are in the master bedroom for the inside of the Puma 31 QBBH. Nice stands on both sides of the bed. You're also going to have 110 on both sides of the bed. You have a UBS, USB, UBS, USB over on that side. And then you have this excellent amount of storage right here. And not only that, but look there, look at that storage. That is awesome. So you can pack a lot more things in there as well. All right, so coming out to the kitchen, Awesome countertops in this. They are seamless. So that means water's not going to creep up underneath there and you're going to have some kind of an issue about that. You have a sprayer that is flexible. And then it's a big country undermount sink. But Puma does an awesome thing and they give you a strainer to go right along with it. So you can actually treat it almost like it's two sinks. Um, we have the stainless steel microwave, stainless steel stove and oven. And... That's a nice size oven. You can do some biscuits and who camps without biscuits? Come on. Look at this 12 volt refrigerator. This thing is monstrous. Remember the old RV fridges that worked on propane? These are strictly 12 volt and look at the space you got there. And I had a lot of people comment about the size of this freezer. It's huge. It's cold right now. In fact, in fact, when these are delivered down here from the factory three hours north, the freezers are already frozen by the time they get here, running off the tow vehicles. That is something that you didn't have in the old days, in any RV for that matter. We have pull-down um, shades in this one. Not the crinkly ones that are going to go bad in six months, but these are super, super nice. They're all shades. Um, big U-shaped dinette with 
storage on both sides. So get you some tubs, put your stuff in there, slide it in there, easy access. You can also get all the way around the U-shaped dinette and get a lot of people. Would you look at that price? I was just lucky enough to have customers choose me to purchase one of these and they are absolutely extremely thrilled with it. Puma has lightened everything up. I mean, that is the way we want bright, we want light. In fact, you can see we've got our blinds drawn because this one's sitting in the showroom, but it is super bright and super nice inside here. We have a jackknife sofa right here, which you can also treat as theater seating. And look at that, right across from the TV, right across. Who would have thunk that? For years, you couldn't have that in any RV. They were down at the end. You were turning your neck. It's right across from there. AM, FM, Bluetooth, stereo right there. And then there's our fireplace. Now, the cool thing about this fireplace is it's 5,000 BTUs of electric heat. What does that mean? Well, if you're in the campgrounds, who's paying the electric bill? The campground. And you got 5,000 BTUs of electric heat. And you're not burning up your propane just because it's a little chilly outside. So that's ideal. That thing will change colors. You can set it by the hour. You can set it by temperature. and Or you can not have it on at all if that's the way you choose. So that's a beautiful feature about this Puma. Let's look at this bathroom real quick. It's got a great stand-up shower in it. You got plenty of room. Commode's in a good angle. You got nice shape, nice, uh, nice room inside there. Here's part of the pantry for your kitchen. So you got more storage right here or linens for the bathroom. That would work as well. Now we're into the big bunkhouse or bunk room, if you will. So we've got a simple booth or I'm sorry, a simple bed that flips down or pins up out of the way. So the idea behind that is now we're sleeping. We got people in sleep. Now it's raining outside and you need space to keep the kids entertained. So you put a jackknife sofa there, the TV would go here, and then they've got plenty of room right here and they're not banging their heads on that booth. So we've got a big super wide bunk here. We got a super nice bunk here. This obviously again will go down so you can get actually a couple kids on here. The cousins can come and you got plenty of room for everybody to play if it's raining outside and, and they're not getting bored. And then as a bonus, look inside here. This thing has an awesome closet inside in the bunk room itself. So they put all their toys in there. They don't have to leave everything strung out. You can do that as well. This has been another walkthrough Wednesday with Walnut Ridge Family RV. You should come out and check it out for yourself. Don't take my word for it. Come see it. It's really nice in person. Um, there you go. Thank you.